guys. Uh, same location. Got a PD call in here for uh, what you see. There's a waterfall over here. It's pretty. Right there where he is, aren't you? It's okay. Good morning. I think all it is, somebody run her off. There ain't no damage, but okay. What do you want to set up and I'll just block it? Should be. We should be good. You, I might have to have you back up just a little bit, but I'll yeah, I'll just pull forward. Okay. I think so. You're welcome.
goodness, breakfast in the belly. A little late for breakfast. We got there about 10.30, I guess, but uh, yeah, heading back down the uh, Dudley Creek bypass. Um, just got that winch out done right before that. Poor gal. We've been there in that spot so many times. I don't, it's like a, I don't know, some sort of force field right there that magnetic draw it says car come to me it just pulls over it's the same location i don't understand you think i mean i can understand like various places along that road but like it's always right there that ditch is hungry it's a food bird. it's so crazy <laughs> we just got coven just helped me with one right there just gosh very just a few days ago but anyway yeah got him out of there um appreciate the officers man that he's He's telling the, uh, the the vehicle owner there, hey, you guys, have, they'll, they'll get it out of there. They'll get it out of there. They won't damage it. We got good people here, and you know he's he's talking us up, and we appreciate that. We appreciate the support. And, and uh, at the end of the day, yeah, we got her we got her lifted up so she wasn't dragging like she drove going in anyway. And. Uh, that one's kind of tough. The last time I got that one there, I had to do, I had to lift it and get it scooted over just a little bit, and then I had to do a low pull to finish it off. Um, truck placement, guys, is is crucial. Uh, that's that's the difference between doing it in one shot and and uh, doing it in two steps or three steps. Not that any of them are the wrong way to do it. It's uh, you know whatever it takes to do it safely. But I just so happened to get that one right on the dot, I guess, where I it came out of there in, in one swoop, one pull. But she was happy, she got to driving home. No crazy stuff, no oil leaking, no antifreeze leaking. The trolley's out on the prowl. <laughs> We're back over here on the spur. Shout out to the trolley drivers. Oh yeah, for sure. I get a lot of trolley drivers that say they've watched, <clears throat> they watch the channel. Yeah, we appreciate those guys. They, they have to, <clears throat> really navigate like tight areas. I mean, that's a huge vehicle. Oh my goodness, there's someone running across the road. I thought it was a bag blowing. <laughs> they got a, I don't know, they got some kind of big walking group. Okay. Big fluffy jacket. Uh, yeah. At least it was white. I can see her. This is the dangerous of all intersections right here, guys. But yeah, the trolley drivers, they have to navigate all this traffic, these narrow roads. They've got that big giant bus that they're trying to drive. And it's not like, you know, us or the, the smaller vehicles where you can just go and you find a little opening in traffic and, and you can get out there safely. That trolley driver, I mean, there's, there's our traffic down here is crazy. And uh, for them to pull out and have enough time to either get across or, or get out in the lane and get moving. Um, so guys, if you see them, just, just kind of slow up for them a little bit because they're trying their hardest to, to navigate this and do it safely with all of the, all of the folks on, on board. And gotta be super tough on, Thank you. on getting that thing just going. I mean, it, it would take probably five times as long just to get across the intersection versus a little, car or pickup truck which could just kind of zoom across in a small opening so, but those people you know they're just trying they don't want to sit there for an hour trying to get across one intersection but yeah they do an amazing job yeah, on they do. navigating those buses and keeping everybody uh, on the move not everybody wants to drive everywhere they want to go they want to pop on that trolley and take it to their destination and they don't have to worry about paying to park to park but man what a day it's uh like some, it's about 11 o'clock we're up to 62 degrees i think it's gonna be another great day i've got three disastrously filthy trucks I'm not sure there's enough energy or time for me to get those clean but i think i'm gonna scoot on over to the house and try we've got a lot of other stuff going on here too so um yeah stick around and stay tuned more coming your way
Okay, guys, this guy was really upset on the phone. I didn't get the conversation. This is the Illegal Park golf cart. We didn't even get that on video last night. He, uh, he was cussing the liquor store employee out, like, big time. Hey, buddy. Yes, you're after. Are you a McCarter? McCarter? No. Oh, okay. No. Everything auto. Did you talk to Jerry? Uh, I talked to somebody. I guess the golf cart. Is that what you're after? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They they towed it and what? they didn't know I was in there with them while they were talking. That's how fast I could touch people. She said, "Oh, he was name dropping. I'm, I, it's going to be a funny name drop." Cause as she said, I sitting there right there and just sitting there like this, and she just running that mouth and saying, "Yeah, I was glad I did." Wait till I see. What? Uh, so was it just a? Oh, here. is it just a customer's? No, the, the customer said he, he. I don't know. It was a Westgate. I never rent to Westgate. Okay. But he said that. He said, "Yeah, man. I guess I could park it here. I'm closed Sundays." Nobody calls. I don't answer the phone. Yeah, they said they tried to call or yeah, something like that. But and then, so this morning we're at my other warehouse in Sevierville by the golf course. Yeah. And then we go in at you know one o'clock and we're like, what's this talk? Hey, what's going on? So I guess he told her that uh, I said he could park it out. Hey, my uh, yeah, I don't know. All I know is they called me and said that no, it wasn't supposed to be there and it couldn't stay and they tried to call you and. The owner tried to call you, so... The thing is, though, man, Ow. if it's an owner to owner, I'm not going to tow a business. As, if that, yeah. I'm going to try to is, at least get through Monday, and yeah. then I'm not going to tow another business's car. Yeah, I don't, I I don't know. what do that. That's a Karen move, man. Yeah, I don't know what's going on over there. She was, yeah, no, she just called to come hey. and get us to... Um, hey, just, just let her know yeah. the guy bought Peach. <laughs> At least I know what she looks like. Yeah, what man. Do I do? You got a card? I got a card. Do I got a? I, I, yeah. I, cash is the only thing I can do on. So you do cash? Yeah. Okay. There's uh. I think I wonder. Has got a damn ATM. There's an ATM. There's, there's a bank right up here, at the I top. But I can get you. I'll make sure you got the receipt and all that good stuff. Yeah, I'm but, gonna put it on my. Uh, I'm gonna have to put it on uh, Hot Wheels. I have to put it on there. I have to get a receipt. Yeah, I'll get you the receipt made up and everything. If you want to do that, I'll. Uh, but yeah, they've got an ATM at that bank. I know that right there at the corner, uh, First Horizon, I think it is. I'll just, I'll just pull forward if you want to. Yeah, well. Or unless you I'll, just want to walk, walk up, there. up there. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I got that name dropping. Yeah, I'm name dropping. Wait till she gets a. I don't understand what's going on. What's I don't either. He's, he's claiming, I guess he's somebody. He's somebody big time, and it from one business to another, it should have never been towed, and they, they should have left it till at least Monday. What? I'm not. Why? I'm not answering the phone on a on a weekend, and. Okay then. Anyway, he's going up to the bank, I guess. To, Hey, I don't need it yet. I'm gonna leave my truck here, take my golf cart to CMB, and I'll be right back. But you oh, got okay. my truck. Oh, sure, sure. No, he's gonna go to CMB on his golf cart, and then he's gonna like you got my truck. He says, like, <laughs> I guess. The, so what was wrong with the golf cart? <laughs> You're dang right. I'm name dropping. I'm thinking, you know, I, the only time I would be worried would be if I was the name dropped. Like, if you're talking to me and you're the guy that you're talking about, I might be worried. But if you're just going to drop names, <laughs> anybody can drop names. What? Why is he name dropping? What? I don't understand. I guess he's trying to, he's... He's trying to intimidate her on, I, I'm guessing, the, the liquor board and, um, <laughs> I guess, and, uh, and, you know, she's the manager, and uh, but I guess he's he's in there trying to intimidate her by dropping all these names and I'm like I'm you know, like I said I'm thinking you know unless you're like the big wig that you're talking about 
it doesn't. I mean, yeah, I can talk names. I, I can say to... that I know whoever. I can say that I know the mayor or the president or unless you're the president. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out why the liquor board cares if the liquor store has an illegally parked vehicle towed from their lot. Exactly. Because I don't think the liquor board cares about that. It's their property and they have the right to say who is on their property and there is no reason in the world that you need to leave something there for 24 48 hours you know and, and they were closed last night she called as she was leaving she said that golf cart's still here it needs to go um she said that she tried to call the number on the golf cart nobody answered nobody answered the customer tried to call mm -hmm. the number that was on there because they rented it nobody answered and he's like well i don't answer the phone on on the weekends I, it should have just left should have left it there till Monday or Tuesday so I could have got over here and, and uh, no just because you think you you know somebody or you have the privilege or the right to to just leave your stuff no. it doesn't work that way I answer the phone on Sunday at 10 o'clock 11 o'clock I had to go take care of it so he was even mad that she called us instead of a different towing company yeah should have called a different tow company they would have no it's <laughs> Not how this works. Well, I know. Uh, he was, yeah, he was trying to name drop with me too. I'm like, okay. But I'm glad you know them. How does that affect me in any way, shape, or form? I just remove the golf cart. So you pay me and. I'm sorry, but when people start name dropping, I just instantly like, okay, you're. I just kind of like disregard all that. Yeah. Because it like. Just because you know somebody that's. I don't know, that, more well off or higher established or. That ranks right up there with, do you know who I am? Yeah. Like, <laughs> no. I'm not real sure, but uh, I'm guessing you're going to tell me. <laughs> wow. Some people, man. Some people are just, it's crazy. But this guy was a total, totally uncalled for, hateful person on the phone. Like he started in on me. And it uh, wasn't really so much about me, you know, just asking why, and it should have been a different tow company that come and got it. Kind of went that direction, but he he called the manager of the liquor store some vulgar things. Things that we will not repeat. I will not. Words that we do not use. And, uh, and, and said it multiple times, and I'm sorry that I, I mean, even if I had caught that on camera and recorded it, guys, it would have it would have just sounded like this. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> and you and asked it, him why that was relevant. Yeah, and then after he called her all those names, I said, and why does that matter? Well, that's because she's a beep, 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 beep. And I'm like, come on, dude. And then he just hung up on me. And I, yeah, and here we are. I thought, well, he's probably coming to the lot to get his stuff, and I'll meet him over here. And that's kind of where we're at right now is, is, uh, He's running around now trying to get the money to pay us for the... And then he just zooms off. In the, so I have no idea why they parked the golf cart there. It obviously runs and drives. So he went off to the bank to try to get some money because I'm not taking his card. Not If he wants to talk to people that way, I'm definitely not taking his card. No. Um, but anyway, he's supposed to be back. Yeah. We didn't get the pickup on that last night because we were in the other truck. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I, But it was nothing really to see. It was a golf cart that was left in the middle of the parking lot at the liquor store. And uh, we were out and about, and I was already in the rollback, and I didn't have any of my gear with me. And that's usually what it, it catches me. I get bad times. I, I get caught in bad times every now and then without a camera. I try to have a camera in every truck, but it doesn't always happen. Plus, you know, it was. I thought it was going to be a slower afternoon. It was Sunday, and it was... 10 10 30 at night those are always the times that catch you off guard but anyway i'll um uh, if he comes zooming in we'll get you back up to date what? so why the heck why the heck did they leave it if it runs that's bizarro because they couldn't keep it at, at the parkway oh my, couldn't mis keep my own misunderstanding was he uh, talked to the people at the liquor store, but who would, I would never as a business tow another, if I knew that was another business uh, that rents, Yeah. you know? Yeah, I was just so confused Hell, about the situation. For, him, man, I'm a, I'm a vindictive mother That hunter could cost him a lot more than what 
he wants to. Well, that's hey. crazy. Have well, you talked to him? Huh? Have you talked to him? I don't want to talk to him now. I didn't know if I you talked to him. him. I'm so off about it. It ain't your fault. You're the guy Man, I, drive. Dude, look. Yeah. I, she said I was name dropping. You call, you call Shorty Stukesbury, Kenny Baker, and all of them, and yeah. tell them Teddy Jones's little brother yeah. is about this, and they'll probably tell you, that sucks. <laughs> man, but I... No, it just sucks, man. I mean, who would do that Sunday? And it wasn't even in her way from, from because I called the guy, I said, where the f*** you can park my golf cart, man? Yeah. You know? I said, you could have parked I... it across the street. I said, it cost me dollars to to get my yeah. golf cart because you you park it right there he said i parked at the end it was at the end right? it was it was in the end spot it was at the end yeah what the f is that why is she gonna do that for yeah it was at on least the... wait till monday or at the end of the day monday yeah she made it sound like you know they uh, there was something wrong with it and the customers had been trying to call you because she said they've been trying to call all day and then she said i tried to call him right before i left and still nobody answered so she said i can't leave it here that's what she told me so the guy Call me. That's Jennifer Sorrell. <laughs> okay. it? Uh, so you you're in Sevierville though, right? Yeah, right on the Parkway. He, I guess you can drive that all the way. That's no, a long you way. You, no, I have to deliver it to Westgate. Or oh, Gatlinburg okay. As a spur, right? That's what we were trying to figure out. I'm like, how does a golf cart get over here? Because I didn't think no, you could I come. No, I had to deliver it. Yeah. You know, and then I delivered it right there at the store, and he took it. Yeah. And he calls me this morning. He's like, uh, <laughs> he's like, oh, hey, would you be, you know, I got his insurance and stuff. He's like, hey, would you be able to give me a call? It's 8, 13 a.m. Yeah. So I'm thinking, what's going on? Well, a Spanish guy <laughs> rear-ended him for one oh. and broke my damn, no. broke my thing. <laughs> then I didn't even know. He said, well, I parked it there. Everything's fine. I said, okay. I said, I, I'm busy till about one, I'll go get it. Yeah. And then usually nobody f done yeah, nobody You admit. see like markings on it, you're not, go nobody's gonna really yeah, do I'm, that. Uh, yeah, some people will leave notes and stuff like that, but man, I don't know. I, yeah, that it was ran, a it that was a crazy thing. That's what I thought the when you drove it. was in it. They really? It. No, that's crazy. It was in the trunk. So anyway, I call her. And I'm like, hey, I said, I missed a call from this number. Yeah. I said, is this the liquor store? I said, I got a cart maybe right there. You know, I said, I'm going to come yeah. here. I had it towed, and I'm thinking, why the f*** would you tow it? Man. Was it in your spot? And then I called the guy. I was like, where did you put it? He said, oh, at the end. And I'm thinking, yeah. why would they tow it? Yeah, look. Yeah, she does have 10 signs out there, whatever. But yeah. at the same time, if it's not in your way, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I just, okay. I, I answer the hey. phone and uh, I thought it was kind of a weird situation last night when I answered, but I, you know, sometimes we'll get the UTVs and, and all of that stuff too. They'll yeah. call because their, their belts are broke and they'll leave them. But, but at the same time, I was like, how did they get it here? I was thinking they rented it from you and they took it someplace they shouldn't have because that happens a lot with the UTVs. No, no, it, it was it was them being... They'll curious. be up in Parsons Branch or something with a UTV and you're like, what in the world? I mean, we, we got those. Like, I, I always pick up our stuff, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. And when the yeah. customer... See, it was my fault. So I should have went in there and talked to the, the liquor store people and said, hey, did this guy... But yeah. how you, am I going to know that? You know, yeah. I should have, that, that, that's what I should have. People do some crazy stuff, my friend. Yeah, thank you. All right. Well, you guys have a good one. All right, guys. I mean, I guess that's the story, but no, she doesn't have to leave your stuff sitting there. It's, uh, it's her parking lot, and they don't want anything there overnight, and she shouldn't have to leave anything there overnight. You know, he said he, he dropped it off there, and he said somebody rear-ended it, and so I don't know, guys. That's the story on that. He's getting it out of here, so I hope somebody knows Teddy Jones.